It is morning of day nine, last day, and I'm leaving Marlet Campground. And I thought last night I had 10 miles till Spooner Summit Trailhead where I'm parked, but upon further examination, it's only nine. So that's one less mile, and that's good because I'm a little light on water. I actually carried plenty of water from that source 10 miles ago, plenty of water for those 10 miles and camp tonight and to get me to the trailhead tomorrow. But whoever was in my campsite before didn't put their fire out all the way. So there was kind of a large thick log that was still smoldering. And so I had to sacrifice some of that water that I had carried and that heavy water carry exhausted me. I had to sacrifice some of my water for today to make sure that their fire was out because there's no water at that campground, but they decided to have a fire anyway. So, uh, my pack feels great right now. <laughs> it's light on water and light on food, but I'm hoping that because it's a cool morning and there's only one kind of short climb early in the hike today, that I'll be okay to get to the trailhead. I mean, once I get to the trailhead, I can just drive to water, but a <laughs> little light on water. It's only nine miles, and it's early in the day. So we'll see how this goes. Put out your campfires. As much as I'm okay with sharing the trail, I actually am excited for this sign. Uh, this part of the trail is horse and foot traffic only, so there's going to be no panicked leaps to the side of the trail uh, till, till the end of the trail for me, till the trailhead. Got the rising sun to the east. Still got some color there. Should be getting to kind of an open viewpoint pretty early on in the hike today, but the sun may have risen before, well, high enough that that color will disappear. So getting it while I can, that's pretty. That's very pretty. Walking through some cool terrain, the Tahoe Rim Trail app labels this as a mountaintop meadow. Let me just turn. You can see walking through it for a little bit, and there's the mountains in the background. Cool boulders with lichens on it, and some wildflowers there too. Looks like there's some patches of wildflowers up there, some patches of yellow, and should be getting some good views of Lake Tahoe throughout this stretch as well. Okay, this is a bit of a windy spot, but coming to a point where you can pretty much see the entire lake. So, let me see, maybe right here. So, down here is the southern part of the lake. The snow means desolation wilderness, although it might just be me, but it kind of looks like there's less snow than there was a week ago. And then continuing north, and that is the entirety of Lake Tahoe, all about 22 miles. So I'll swing back around. That is a big, deep lake. Beautiful lake, too. Coming up on a view of Carson Valley. Funny, that kind of looks like a similar view that I had on day one. Uh, I must be getting close. I actually think this road is the road that connects Carson City and South Lake Tahoe. And I think probably around here is where my trailhead is going to be. I'm going to have to cross that road <laughs> to finish the trail. Oh, but you can see Lake Tahoe's right here. And then there's the pass. And that's Carson Valley and Carson City. I think kind of over this way. So getting close. One last grouse sighting. There she is. <laughs> it's interesting, the grouse here don't really seem that scared. The other grass I've encountered just bolted. I 
can hear the road pretty distinctly now. You can see I'm way further down in elevation. I think I have maybe about a mile until the road. Okay, here it is, the last part of the loop and potentially the hardest part. This is Highway 50 that connects Carson City to Tahoe. It is a very wide and fast moving road. So I'm going to turn this off until I'm safely on the other side. And success! Alright, I just have to get to my parking lot on this side of the trail. Right through here. And the circle is complete. So that was between 165 and 171 miles, depending on which source you go by. And that's the end of the Tahoe Road Trail. So looking forward to a change of clothes, maybe several showers and all the cold drinks in the world.